What's up? Welcome back to the Ramsey's Rundown, and welcome back to What's in My Crate, where I, the Miasma Zach Ramsey's, talk a little about my physical music collection here, vinyl, CD, whatever it may be, and I'll pull out a specific selection from my collection and talk about its significance, its rarity, its importance to me, whatever it may be, and uh, I'll just talk a little bit about uh, what I got here. So, if we look into the crate today, what we've got is a, a pick of mine that has a funny story, and that is my Sonic the Hedgehog 3 soundtrack. Now, if you're looking at this, you're thinking probably two things. Either A, that's awesome, or B, what is this? Or you might be thinking both. And so, yes, obviously, this album cover is a play on Michael Jackson's Thriller. And, you know, when you open up uh, the whole thing here... You got tails here. It's 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 hysterical, honestly, and uh, and that was my thought too the first time I saw it. Uh, for those unfamiliar, Sonic the Hedgehog is a video game. I know, probably haven't heard that before, right? And uh, Sonic the Hedgehog three is infamous for the music allegedly being written by Michael Jackson, and uh, he didn't uh, get credit officially for and there was a number of reasons. To be honest, I don't remember right offhand exactly why. But there was a whole bunch of legal stuff going on, and uh, ultimately, he wasn't technically accredited with writing it. But uh, so this uh, soundtrack, though, was his work, and so the album art pays tribute to it being Jackson um, in a really cool, fun way. And uh, you know, that was my intrigue in buying this select pressing of this uh, soundtrack because there's other Sonic Three soundtracks out there, I'm sure. Uh, but I stumbled across this cover. I was like, that is so awesome. And so I did some searching. And this was a, not shockingly, a challenging uh, vinyl to come across. You know, uh, it, this was originally pressed, oof, I forget what year. But this has been a few years ago now this was, this was uh, officially pressed. And within that time, obviously, it sold quick. Uh, the... The label that pressed it, it's not an official Sonic release, it's not an official uh, product of uh, Sony, uh, Sony, of uh, Sega Sound Team or anything like that. Uh, the, the place is called Moonshake. Uh, it's again, it's, it's a, just an independent uh, spot and you got this nice blue uh, vinyl here, a la Sonic himself. So, nice and pretty, all that good stuff. Um, and so, they are a... Uh, an unofficial label that they press music for video game fans, basically, just of music that they're fan that they are a fan of and that they know there's a fandom for. And so they do unofficial pressings of, of things like that. Uh, and they put some hard work into it and really make some cool products. And so, you know, uh, one thing that do I think is great is that they limit it to, I want to say it was one copy per customer. Maybe it was two, but even so, their goal was like, we didn't want people to go on there and buy 15 just so they could put it up on eBay and try to you know rip off fans who actually want to buy it. They're like, if you want this, come get it. This is for fans. I thought that was really cool. But to that point, uh, when it came out, obviously it sold fast. Shocker, right? And so um, with that, by the time I came across this, it was long gone. There was none around. And to the point, you know, there aren't any on a secondary market, really. You know, it's not on Discogs or anything like that because you, pretty much if you bought it, you bought it for yourself because you were a fan and you wanted it, which, again, is awesome. But as a result, if you didn't have it, you weren't getting it. But what I did notice on their website was that they were selling just the album art. Uh, I, I don't know if it was just the actual, like, the gatefold itself or if it was just a print of it, whatever. But they said they were selling just the art. And I was like, you know what? I think this is so funny. I'm gonna go and pick it up anyway, as is, uh, the art that is, just so I can, I'll frame it somewhere and you know, hang it up down here, whatever. Cool, cool thing, fun bit of trivia, etc. So I put the order in, the, the, the art itself is five bucks, so it was a no-brainer, and you know, I waited. And then a few weeks later, I get uh, a package in the mail, and it was the album art, but it was also the whole album. And I don't know how, uh, to this day, I'm, I'm not sure if, you know, 
they thought that this was an empty sleeve, I, I don't know, and they, they sent it out thinking that I was just buying the art, or maybe they stumbled across an extra copy and they threw it in there. I don't know exactly how it worked out. All I know is it worked out extraordinarily well for the Miasma because I, I spent $5 on this record that this could go for a lot if someone was trying to sell it uh, because it is definitely an elusive uh, album out there right now. So I very luckily stumbled upon owning this and I will never get rid of it now. I'm not the type of guy who would sell anything from my collection anyway because that, you know, I, I buy this because even if they are a collector's item, not just because it has monetary value or, you know, because it is hard to get. If I get a record, it's because I want to listen to it. I'm a believer in the fact that if you want to listen to an album in its most sonically pure form, you want to listen to it on a well-pressed vinyl. And so uh, the music sounds great on here. In fact, the last track on side B is actually the entire, it's, I guess it's basically a medley of the Sonic 1 official soundtrack, which is just, a, basically I have the Sonic 1 and 3 soundtracks on this one record. And you can't lose with that. But um, it was a really cool, uh, lucky pickup. And uh, again, just so much effort and craftsmanship went into it. Uh, you know, 180 gram vinyl, uh, as I showed you, looked pretty on the inside, on the outside. and. Beyond all of the uh, the happenstance of collecting the record and you know the, the actual packaging, if you're a fan of, of Sonic music or if you're a fan of Dangerous for Michael Jackson, you will probably like this music. Uh, and if you've ever played the games, obviously, again, there's so many earworms within the Sonic franchise that get stuck in your head and you'll just you'll never forget them because it's just really fun music. Uh, it accentuates the stage as a good soundtrack should for a video game. But beyond that, it's also just fun, upbeat catchy music and so uh sonic 3 soundtrack is certainly no exception and uh, lots of fun tracks on there so if you do want to get this good luck um they don't even have the art available on uh the moonshake website anymore i believe last i checked because i had friends who wanted to get on this after i got on it and they were not able to so if you're able to ever come across this pick it up because I don't foresee this getting repressed at any point. I don't foresee many people putting this uh, for sale at some local record store or online on eBay or anything. So if you can get it, get it. Uh, it's obviously multiple levels. It's just a cool pickup. So if you're a Sonic fan, comment below. Let me know what Sonic uh, game soundtrack is your favorite. I have several Sonic uh, vinyl. Uh, more may pop up in what's in my crate down the line here. But this is just a special one for the story and then just because of the, the, the kind of the cool nature of the vinyl itself. Um, but let me know what your favorites are. Uh, let me know what vinyl you kind of stumbled across that you never thought you were going to get your hands on and you did. Or anything else you got on there. Uh, if you like what's in my crate, give the video a like. Subscribe to uh, the Miasma Citadel. Check out more Ramsey's rundowns to see what's going on inside the Miasma's mind. And beyond that... Buy vinyl music, listen to vinyl music, listen to the Sonic soundtracks because they're fantastic. So, you heard it from the Miasma. <laughs>